Hello and welcome to the 18th episode of Stay Nerdy, my friends. In today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys about quantum computers. Now, before I teach you about quantum computers, I need to explain to you what a Turing machine is. And uh, a Turing machine was thought up by Alan Turing, who is the father of modern computers, basically, and artificial intelligences. Um, he thought up an idea of, a, of what he called a Turing machine, which was a box and it had a tape going into it, and the tape was uh, cut up into sections, and each section of the tape could either have a 1, a 0, or a space in it. And at any time, and when the tape got uh, pulled into the box, the box was a machine, and it would read the tape, and it had a different procedure associated with each uh, section. So depending on what the, that particular section read, you know, 1, 0, 0, space, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, uh, that would be associated with, like, a turning the monitor off. That's just, uh, that's obviously uh, not what it would be, but you know, that's an example. Um, so now I want you to imagine that instead of being a one, a zero, or a, or a space, each of those sections of tape are every conceivable uh, symbol that it could be, and that's what a quantum computer is. Basically, according to Moore's law, uh, the circuitry inside of a computer uh, is halved every year, which means that it's half the size that it was the year before. And uh, I was reading somewhere that that means that in 22 years, the circuitry inside of a computer would be the size, <laughs> like the size of molecules or something like that. And that's that's pretty intense. I, I don't foresee that happening. But anyway, researchers uh, figured this out, and they pretty much said, well, I mean, if they're going to be the size of atoms anyway. Let's just figure out how to make atoms work. So, basically what a quantum computer is, is a string of atoms that are all associated with each other. And they are used to, basically, to run large numbers and large calculations. Um, and I know what you're thinking, uh, wh why can't we just do that on a regular computer? Well, if you have a 300 digit long number, that's not factorable, so it's like, like a prime number, you can't do those uh, calculations on a regular computer. You'll crash it. It won't work. Um, so a quantum computer, the reason why they're so sought after is that uh, every single digit, like I just told you, every single digit is not just the digit that it is. Every single one of those atoms exists in a superposition, which means that that atom is not only in each position that the atom is in is associated with a different one of those symbols, like uh, if it's positioned this way, it's a 1, this way it's a 0, this way it's a space. So uh, because they exist in a superposition, they all, first of all, they all, in the real time, you observe them and you adjust them all to be in the same uh, order, so they're all 1s across the board, zeros across the board, or spaces across the board. And then you run a calculation through them, and how they run calculations through them is really complicated. It's Shor's algorithm. Um, super complicated. Uh, if you really want me to, let me know in, com in the comments below or by email, and I'll do a whole other episode on Shor's algorithm if you want me to. But it's really complicated, and you don't really need to know what it is. So anyway, back to the actual uh, calculation. So the reason why quantum computers uh, can run these gigantic numbers so well is because uh, they are not just running each digit as it is, like a normal computer does, which is when it crashes because it's trying to do too much at once. The quantum computer is running every conceivable calculation at the same time. So um, a good example of this is if you've ever seen a spy movie or like a thief movie, and uh, the tech hacker, whatever, plugs that little device into the door card reader or whatever, or the vault, whatever, and it's you, it's got like a four-digit code, and you see how all of the digits are running through what they could be, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, and it's doing all of that. Basically, imagine that it's doing all of, every single conceivable di uh, code that it could, that could be inside of that, it's entering at one time, and it's just done. So that's why quantum computers are so sought after um, and why we really want them. And technically speaking, quantum computers only are only theoretical right now. However, we have built some quantum computers and 
Uh, quantum computers are, are so fast that a regular computer is measured in bits. Quantum computers is measured in qubits, which are astronomically larger than a uh, regular computer. A quantum computer can like do 2 to the nth power, uh, whatever a normal computer can. It's, it's intense. Um, so basically, like, uh, MIT has built a quantum computer that can do up to 84 qubits, I believe, and that's really impressive. It's not as powerful as, like, what we're, as these quantum computers that I'm talking about that can do, like, 300-digit long prime numbers, but the fact that they have proven that it's possible, that is a pretty big step forward. Um, anyway, so that's what quantum computers are. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in comments or email them to my email at staynerdingmyfriends at gmail.com. Um, share this video with your friends. Uh, I wanted to get to 50 subscribers by the end of March, and we have like eight days, and I just need 10 more subscribers. So share this video with all of your friends. Have them subscribe to the show. I mean, it's really interesting, I think. And... Uh, I would love to get at least 50 subscribers by the end of March. <clears throat> These videos have been being viewed over 50 times, so I mean, just subscribe to the channel if you're watching the show. I mean, it's it's really interesting like this. Um, also, if you leave ideas for episodes in the comments below or if you email them to me, uh, I answer them. Believe me, I get to all of them. I answer every question that you have. That's what I'm here for. I love that. And a lot of you guys are still emailing me, and I love that you guys are doing that. I love that you guys are engaged with the show. Um, so share this video with everyone you know. Uh, share it on your Facebook if you want to. I have no problem with that. Um, have your friends subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's really interesting, and I think that I explain this stuff in as sim pretty simple terms. I mean, sometimes it gets a little complicated, but I try to uh, keep it as simple as possible. Um, like this video. Uh, Definitely subscribe to the channel, please. We only need 10 more. Um, and other than that, all I'm going to say is stay nerdy, my friends.